The moon has always attracted mankind with its mysterious beauty and influence on our planet. But what is the moon made of? What is under its surface? These questions have plagued scientists for centuries, and until recently, they had no clear answers. Now, a group of researchers led by astronomer Arthur Briod of the French National Center for Scientific Research has published a groundbreaking study in the journal Nature that reveals the internal structure of the moon. Using data from various space missions and lunar laser ranging experiments, they have confirmed that the moon has a solid inner core with a density similar to iron and is surrounded by a fluid outer core. This discovery is of great significance to our understanding of the history and evolution of the moon as well as its magnetic field and geology. It also supports the hypothesis that the Moon was formed by a huge collision between Earth and Mars-sized objects about 4.5 billion years ago. These objects ejected a large amount of material into orbit and later coalesced on the Moon. The researchers used a combination of observational data and numerical modeling to determine the best fit for the Moon's interior. They considered various factors, such as the deformation of the gravitational interaction between the Moon and the Earth, changes in distance from the Earth, and density distribution. They also compared their results with seismic data obtained by the Apollo mission, which measured the sound waves produced by lunar earthquakes. The team found that the model closest to the data described a solid inner core with a radius of about 258 kilometers, 160 miles, and a density of about 8,000 kilograms per cubic meter. The inner core is surrounded by a fluid outer core with a radius of about 362 kilometers, 225 miles, and a density of about 6,000 kilograms per cubic meter. The outer core is in turn surrounded by a thick silicate mantle extending to the surface. The existence of a solid inner core has been debated for decades because previous studies based on Apollo seismic data cannot rule out the possibility of a completely fluid core. However, this new study provides strong evidence for a solid inner core, which is consistent with the early findings of the NASA Gravity Recovery and Internal Laboratory GRAIL mission, which measured two orbiting the Moon. The discovery of a solid inner core also had an impact on the evolution of the Moon's magnetic field. As we all know, the Moon's magnetic field existed in the past, but has since weakened and become irregular. The researchers believe that the solid inner core could have played a role in generating and maintaining a magnetic field because it could act as a generator to convert the kinetic energy of the fluid outer core into electrical energy. The study also supports the idea that the Moon has undergone a global mantle flip in which denser material sinks to the center and lighter material rises upward. This can explain the existence of certain elements in the volcanic area of the Moon and the timeline of the solar system's bombardment of the Earth in the first billion years. The researchers hope that their research will stimulate further exploration and investigation of the Moon and other celestial bodies in the solar system. They also recognize the limitations of their models, which rely on assumptions and simplification, which may not fully capture the complexity and diversity of the Moon's interior. They called for more data and observations to refine and verify their findings and reveal more secrets of our natural satellites.